morning what a way to start the day i am so happy being out here i got all this space to myself all these dunes it is scary riding those things man it's like riding really really deep snow powder almost but uh the snow powder like it all blends in kind of like snow does i guess and it just you don't see the cliff until you're on it already uh man Whew, I can see how if you get a little cocky, you get hurt real bad. You gotta watch it. Man, it is intense. It is so much fun. And they have these tires with the paddles on them. Gotta wish I had those, because I'm just spinning out all over the place. I got dirt tires, but they're no good here, <laughs> pretty much. I had a lot of fun anyway. Oh my god, what a way to start the morning. Adrenaline's racing. Anyway. I have some miles to make up. I'm meeting up with Sam today or tomorrow morning. I'm not sure yet. Depends on. He's he's making a long haul. He he doesn't mess around like I do. I stop everywhere. He uh, he just goes right for a destination. He's got a girl in California though, so I can I can see how you know the heart longs for her, I suppose. And he's racing to meet her, but not before he meets me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pack it up and uh, make it over to Lake Havasu today, hopefully. Champ, do you have fun chasing the dirt bike? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too fast for you, even in the sand. 
I had so much fun at the Dumont Dunes. I highly suggest it. Even if you don't have an off-roading vehicle or aren't an off-roader, it's just gorgeous here. It's really beautiful, wide open. I get the feeling it's kind of popular. So, you know, take that into consideration if you're gonna come, but BLM land, so as long as you have the annual pass, it's free to use. Awesome. So check out these sweet Dubro glasses I found in the sand last night while I was cleaning. They're a little broken. So I had to uh, super glue them back together, but uh, hey, new sunglasses, nice. And they're not as scratched up as my other ones, so I'm happy. Havasu or Havasu or whatever it is, Havasu Lake. Technically this part of the lake is after the dam so it's more of a river situation. There's a lot of BLM camping here and I wanted to go for some of that but Sam said that uh, this Blue Water Resort and Casino, he stayed here before. He's a veteran man, he's been around, he, he has this like calm demeanor, you know very laid back. You think that he's just like a novice but you, you don't take him lightly, he's been around. He knows every spot. I think this is his third or fourth year doing this, so he's a, he's a veteran. He won't be here till later tonight, late, late tonight, so um, hopefully I'll catch up with him either first thing in the morning or late tonight. He wanted to camp out here because of the access to water, which the BLM land doesn't really have. So the, you, the casino lets you park up. They've got a big gravel area. It's kind of like BLM. It's a little dispersed. It's kind of nice, um, but, you know, you're not going to get any cool star shots tonight, that's for sure. A lot of lights here, a lot of light pollution. But we do get some water, and that's what Champ needed. He's been sick today. He, uh, I fed him a snack for lunch, and I don't think it sat with him real well, and he puked a bunch in the van. So that was fun to clean up, didn't film it. You know, spare you guys the details, but needless to say, he is a pukey puppy, but he's a lot happier now. Getting in the water, got a big stick. Okay, I'm gonna break this stick for you, and then we're gonna throw it around, okay? Big brother wants to take you away He doesn't think it's safe for us to play But I know, I know you'll be back one day And until then, I guess I just had to Yeah. 
I talk with security. Uh, what a nice guy, really nice guy. And I, you know what? I think it brings up a theory of mine. You give a security officer a, a, some sort of form of authority, you give them a golf cart, okay? Once they're in a golf cart, there's no ego. There's no, well, you better do what I say or I'm gonna blow your brains out with my gun and big old truck, do, do, do. None of that garbage, okay? I've never had an encounter with a security officer who drives a golf cart and it's, it's always been pleasant. Every single time they're just super nice and they want to give you all the information and they're really, really just there to help. And every time they're in a big truck with their like fully loaded guns all over their bodies and stuff, it's never been good. Every single time they've been really aggressive. So I'm noticing a trend. More golf carts, please. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go up to the, uh, further up the road here to the little kind of camping area that this resort have, and it's free and it's so nice. I don't even know if I'm gonna go into the resort, to be honest, into the casino. Maybe, maybe if I get bored, why not? Something to do. Ooh, towel champ off. Kinda smells like swamp. All right, well, getting the sand out of here from the dunes and from the river just now and the champ smell, that was, it was difficult, but everything's good. We got our spot near the casino. Sam should be here in like T minus probably five hours knowing him. And uh, I'm gonna make some burritos for dinner tonight. We've got tomatoes, we've got ground beef, we've got even got an avocado. It should be good, so let's get to cooking. As one packed soft shell taco. Yeah, I'm gonna need a plate for this, for sure. All the ingredients are fresh, so their flavors kind of stay separated. And you just have to put it together in your mouth. It's so good. So good. <laughs> 